What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and today I'll be talking about the Premier League's final day, specifically the title race, Champions League spots, and Leeds staying up, and Jesse Marsh's Leeds, they were able to do it. They stayed up on a late goal by Jack Harrison that sealed the win, and the team had several last-minute goals this year, and considering just the narrative was how tired they were after playing a couple of seasons under Marcelo Bielsa, and with how many minutes they had on them because of all the injuries, like, them having all those late goals and still going late in those games when they'd be really tired, like, the belief that they had in themselves inspired by Marsh, like, that had to be huge. And aside from just the belief, the defense getting back together from, like, a very leaky back line to a really respectable defense, like, man, that's really the biggest achievement on the squad. Like, And I don't want to take anything away from Marcelo Bielsa. Like, he's a great manager, and I feel like if the team stays healthy, he probably doesn't get fired. But stuff happened, they needed a change, and Marsh came in and did a really good job, and... Man, it's awesome to see them stay up. It's awesome to see Burnley get relegated. Like, sorry, but I hated watching them play every single time. So, you know, good riddance. And they covered up Sean Dyche, too. I feel like they deserve to go down. They didn't even invest in their squad. But uh, anyway, it's really good for Leeds to stay up. Like, I can't talk too much about the game. I mean, I'll be honest. I was watching it on my second screen. But it's great to see them stay up. Uh, for stuff they need to do for next summer, like... Uh, going to the transfer window, like, they're bringing in Brendan Aronson, which, like, I really like, but I'm not sure if that helps the team too much. Uh, we obviously have to see, like, what ends up happening with guys like Rafinha and with Calvin Phillips, but I think, like, I'd really want them to bring in, like, an experienced backup goalkeeper, maybe, like, try to get Craig Gordon back from the Scottish League. I'd I take, like, a Joe Hart, David Marshall, John Ruddy, just somebody you can rely on in case, like, Melier goes to a slump, because I, I know that he was taking, like, a lot of shots on him, but... Mandy, I, I don't know. I don't feel like he's that reliable of a goalkeeper. At least not yet. He's still very young, but I'd bring in like a more reliable guy. Uh, definitely need to improve the defense a little bit. Uh, probably another option up top as Banford's injury like really affected the team. Again, you have to see what ends up happening with Rafinha and with Phillips. But hey, really good to see them stay up, and it's awesome to like have this problem, have this conversation. Now, when it comes to actual Premier League and, like, man, the title race, Man City won the title. I don't know if that game was a great comeback or just them not failing. I, man, I have to feel for Gerard and Coutinho, like, who couldn't rest their 2014 demons. Like, man, especially, like, blowing that lead, like, oh, that's definitely got to hurt Gerard. Probably Coutinho as well, but... Man, it even reminded me of 2014, because if you remember back to that game, like, the last day of that title race, Liverpool needed a... I think it was West Ham to beat Man City, and I just remember, like, they were really hoping that Andy Carroll, who was out on loan, would end up, like, being that guy for them, but no, didn't end up happening. Uh, man, sucks for Liverpool. I think if they stay, if they're, like, at full health, Salah's back, Van Dyke's back, uh, Thiago's healthy, like, I think they should be favorites for that game against Real Madrid. I mean, I know Benzema's in crazy form, and, man, that team is good, but that has all the experience. But I don't know. I This Liverpool team's a machine, and I think you have to be confident in them going into the final. But, hey, we have to see it's going to be a great game. Uh, for Man City, they really should win, like, the Champions League Premier League double next season, especially with them bringing in Holland. Like, I understand that might be hard for Holland to adjust the Premier League and Pep's system, but Pep got the best out of Lewandowski, so I think they'll be fine. Holland is going to be that guy for Man City because they haven't had, like, a really reliable striker since, like, Aguero started slowing down. Man, if Holland can get going and this team can be at its best, it's going to be insane. And, man, Kevin De Bruyne is one of the best Premier League players ever. Like, that guy is crazy good. Like, man, people really need to start respect to him. Like, put him up, like, the all-time great list because, dude, he is a special player. And just one of my favorite guys to watch, into like, ever. Uh, then for the rest of the Champions League spot, good for Tottenham getting into the Champions League. Austin see Conte get the best out of that squad. Maybe he can be that guy who really gets uh, Spurs to the next level. I'm not sure. It's it's Spurs. We know what happens there. But hey, he could be. Conte's done pretty well wherever he's gone. So looking forward to seeing how he can do. Arsenal, they still have a lot of work to do with their team. Like, I don't know. When your best players are like really young, you can't expect too much. But... Man, I, again, just a lot of things need to just get fixed. Uh, Manchester United, they finished without a positive goal difference. That has to be the first time in Premier League history that they've done that. And, uh, yeah, they need a massive squad overhaul if they want to get back to, like, a Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea level. Uh, again, we have to see if Conte's able to get Spurs right, what Arsenal does. 
it's going to be tough for them to even get back to the Champions League. And that's not even talking about like a Leicester and a West Ham who might really push to stay in that conversation for Europe. It'll be a really interesting season next year. I'm definitely going to get back to talk about the Premier League. Like, it's really fun too. Like, I kind of stopped because like I was covering a what was it like 2020, 2021 season. Got a bit of burnout just from doing too many games. So, not going to cover every game again, but definitely want to talk about it a lot because it's the best league in the world. Like, I just like looking down the table. Like, it was that Aston Villa team is not in the top ten. And, like, dude, Martinez is like one of the like a really good goalkeeper. Mings at center back. Uh, Matty Cash, Rugadinho, a uh, very strong midfield, Danny Ings, Ollie Watkins, Coutinho, like, it was such a strong team, and it's just, like, they're not even top half, like, yeah, this league is, like, so nice, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to get ready to talk about that, it was an awesome final day, I think it's the best final day I can remember, like, uh, I can't remember the relegation race back in 2012, but, uh, like, that's the only thing I could probably compare, this was an awesome last day, Man City won the title. Hopefully Liverpool. Let's see what they can do in the Champions League final. And yeah, that's all I have to talk about right now. See ya.